thanks again for tuning into this video what I'm going to be doing today is trying to get the uh, pistons and rods out of this block I want to take a better look at the cylinder walls make sure those are still good and intact so let's go ahead and pop this bad boy off so we can go ahead and see what the inside of this thing looks like Let's start off by removing the bolts that hold the oil pan sump to the block. We'll go ahead and remove the oil pan, get to the remainder bolts that hold the sump in, and we'll go ahead and pop this thing off. We'll go ahead and remove these pan bolts. It'll allow us access to the remainder sump bolts that are under it. Alright, so I'm just checking the play here with the rods on the crankshaft. Now everyone is going to have some play, it's normal. Check the tolerances for abnormalities, uh, just making sure there's nothing excessive. Let's go ahead and remove these caps. Alright, so let's take a peek at these bearings. For a 25 year plus engine, not too bad. I don't see any scratches. Let's continue. I got the first piston and rod popping out here. On first inspection, not too bad. It's not bent, nothing chipping on the skirts. I'll let you guys have a look here. Overall, they're not horrible. The rings could use some work. We'll be replacing those. Nothing's chipped on the skirts. Some play here. But again, that's normal. So uh, let's continue. Let's take a look at these rod journals here. They actually look really good. Doesn't look like any rod has spun a bearing. I don't see any gouges or scoring on any of these uh, rod journals here. So, so far, so good. Still got that mirror-like finish on them. Let's go ahead and get these main caps off next and we'll check out those journals.
Let's go ahead and take a closer look at what the pistons look like. So nothing too bad. Don't see any scrapes or any chips or anything on the skirts here. Uh, I don't see an excessive heat marking, so that's always a good sign. Now the rings look pretty bad here. Also here, but again, these are going to be replaced. Uh, rod isn't bent. Everything seems to check out. Again, some play here, but then you want to check the FSM to make sure that you're still within tolerances. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with the pistons overall. Place all the rings here on each one of these pistons should be good after we do that we'll go ahead and replace the bearings on these rods and uh, we'll get these things ready you can see that the crowns on the pistons are filled with carbon buildup so we'll get some solvent clean those things off and uh, the pistons should be good to go after that uh, we shouldn't have any more issues as far as uh, carbon buildup after we clean these. So let's go ahead and take a look at what those cylinder walls look like on the block. The tops of the combustion chambers are, are a little rusted. Now they do have some uh, what looks like carbon buildup on them as well. But again you could clearly see the crosshatch on the rest of the cylinder which is a good thing I don't see any pitting there's no gouges there's no scratches that I can really tell that would cause me to bore out this block anymore so all in all I'm I'm actually really happy with the way this uh, block has turned out again nothing that can't be fixed so I'll go ahead and let you guys take a look at these Like I said, all in all, it seems everything is turning out okay. So next video, we'll go ahead and remove the crank from the actual block, tear it down completely, and probably send this thing out to get checked just to make sure that everything's a-okay. Maybe get some honing done to it. So thanks again for tuning in with me, guys. And, uh, you know, subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it.